Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well. Um, it's a Monday morning and the markets have been a little bit wild this morning already. Now, this is something that we're looking at from an advanced perspective. This is gold. Um, it, as we can see, uh, we are very, very low on the stochastic and RSI and we're starting to point to the upside. Now, um, one of the key things I'm looking at is this level here. Um, price has interacted off it. We broke there, but this is where price has been on the daily chart. We've had three days of selling, but we saw the buyers start to step in on Friday after the selling. So, uh, Technically, although this may look like a red bar, I'm still interested because it shows that the buyers and sellers were fighting. And as we can see this morning, we've started off with a hammer candle, which is very interesting. Something that caught my eye, uh, we have had seen the cot position. So the commercial buyers increase their longs on gold uh, ever so slightly this week. And we do start to see a push on gold towards the end of September, uh, which we are now. OK, now the four hour. We can see here price was starting to break down. For those that use pivots, we'll sat on a pivot point as well as this line. The RSI again starting to, to create a higher low. And we can see price here breaking down. We're no longer in this, this constant cycle of lower lows and lower highs. We are now starting to see this price in this area becoming decisive. We're seeing buyers step in. We're getting wicks, which could show a change of sentiment. So that's the four hour um, and that's exactly giving me an inclination that the buyers are now back interested in this market. Now, if we look at the hourly, this is where your first major change of direction comes. Now, again, we're, if we're looking at cycles, we see obviously this massive move lower, lower high, but we don't get the lower low. We do get a lower high here. This is your lower low, but... If we look here now, this is where it's changed. This is your previous high. We have now broken that area. OK, so that shows to me that we have now broken an area and I am interested. Now, obviously, we can see there is a pivot point here. We're at the bottom of a Bollinger Band. We were oversold here. Price is now at a key level on the daily. We struggled to get past this point. If for our advanced traders, so the guys who are um, a little bit more advanced, the 15 minute entry, you can see which I am in live in at the break of the pivot point. I'm happy to hold this because, like I said, I do think it is going to be a good run. But we can see now higher highs and higher lows are starting to form on the 15 minute chart. So I am interested in this chart to the upside. Like I said, it is a bit more of an advanced trade. Um, I've looked at levels, there's pivot points and the Bollinger Bands here as well. So quite an interesting move. I can see it starts pushing. Um, so let's just see how this one plays out. But I'm quite comfortable with the cotton the seasonals and the change of direction. I've got in quite aggressively uh, and with a wider target, which I'm happy to let this run uh, of 1800. So just something, some food for thought as to why I've decided to take this trade. But obviously, if you're a bit more... If you're a bit more of a beginner at a beginner level, you may want to see the first cycle on the hourly trade to confirm the change of direction and then enter the trade. I've got in a bit more aggressively here. Um, let me know what you think, guys. If you need any help, just drop me a message and we're good to hear from you. And I hope you have a good week. Thank you.